talk about glamour and beauty. And this is a topic that I've been thinking about for 20 years. As a former Ford model and someone who has been in the beauty industry for my entire adult life, this is a topic that I'm, I'm intimately connected to and a topic that I see a lot of women especially struggling with. Every young girl up until mature women in their, you know, late 50s. There seems to be a point where women just really accept themselves, um, most women, in their, in their elder years. But that's the exception, it seems, these days. I was invited to an event, and I don't go out very often, and it was, it was an event that was in an area where there were a lot of young people who were going to nightclubs, which is something I don't do anymore. And I was struck with uh, awe at the amount of um, makeup that was worn and scarcity of clothing. And all I could think of was, wow, these people really are looking for love. And it's not a judgment that they were doing anything bad or wrong. It was just really interesting for me to observe the state of affairs. And I think a lot of what we see in the media promotes glamour. We see picture-perfect uh, models on the cover of Cosmopolitan and Vogue magazine. Now, don't forget, and every professional model will tell you this, all of those pictures are airbrushed. I had the benefit of being a plus-size model, so I wasn't as preoccupied with starving myself. But beauty was no less important for a plus-size model than a straight-size model. But the stress of, of needing to be or feel glamorous is really heavy. It creates a lot of anxiety. And I question whether glamour is beauty. And I've come to the conclusion that it's not. Glamour is something superficial. It's external. It's something that uh, can be cultivated, perhaps, um, but it's really external. And beauty resonates from within. Now sometimes that can be difficult because we don't like ourselves or we look in the mirror and we really dissect our faces. You know, the most beautiful thing is to watch a young woman or a young girl look at herself in the mirror. She loves herself. She's playing with herself. She's mimicking and miming and singing and dancing in the mirror most often, not all young girls. but they. There's a moment when we achieve puberty or we go into this, this next phase as a woman and, and we start really just dissecting ourselves, comparing ourselves to an image that may not be appropriate for ourselves to be compared to. And so I, today, if I could communicate anything to you, would be to look inside. A lot of times women call me up and their self-worth is challenged and they've compensated for their self-worth in every way imaginable. They are over-giving to their families. They're overdoing at work. They are working out like a maniac at the gym and have injuries. I mean, the list goes on and on and on on how they're compensating for a real lack of self-love, a real lack of self-worth. So I work with them to unveil their natural beauty. And it's really an inner work that has to occur. And it's very profound. And it's not very complicated, it's not very complex, it doesn't take very long. But it is powerful and it is life-changing. Because you shift your relationship with the most important relationship that you have. And that is the relationship with yourself. And by shifting that relationship, your self-worth begins to increase, your love for yourself begins to grow. And it's not something that you switch on and off like a light switch. It's something that's cultivated. Mm -hmm.